Hey guys, today we're carrying on our series looking at the best headphones that you can use with Microsoft Teams. Today we have the Jabra Evolve 75E earbuds, a Microsoft Teams certified UC set of earbuds. These particular ones are the Sports Band Edition, and we've been using them for the last month, so let's tell you how we got on. First up, let's see what you get. So here inside the box, we have a very nice carry case, which contains all of our accessories. Inside, we'll find the headphones here on the right hand side. And over on the left, we've got the getting starting guide in 19 different languages, some different sized earbuds, and the Jabra 370 USB type A dongle. Under here, we've also got a micro USB charging cable. Again, no wall socket adapter, but that's pretty typical these days. The 75E are a pretty typical sports band style earbud. There's the lightweight neck band here that contains the battery pack, and coming out of each side are the flexible arms, which contain all of the controls, the microphone over here, and then finally the earbuds on each side. The overall finish is a matte black rubberized non-slip material, which is great. And there's a silver band here, which makes it really easy to identify the controls when you're wearing them around your neck. I have to say the overall pack is very lightweight and so it seems a bit strange at first to wear this as a neck band but then there's just this sheer convenience when a call comes in you're like where are my headphones oh hey here they are hmm. they also have these really nice magnetic pieces here that keeps the headphones together whilst you're walking around the office all of the controls are contained on the arms which come off each side of the neck band on the right hand side here, as you're wearing it, we've got the volume up and volume down button, as well as the main combo button, which does on off, play pause, end calls, reject calls, and also initiates the Bluetooth pairing. On the left hand side, we just have one control, which is the active noise cancellation and hear through. ANC can be toggled on or off, and then you can have hear through, which uses the external microphones to allow you to hear more about what's going on around you. Now, as is usual with Jabra devices, the controls are these physical buttons, so you get a very definite response and a feeling that you've pressed something and you can expect something to happen, which is really nice. I love the convenience of having these earbuds just ready to go, hanging around my neck. And then, although it has just occurred to me that maybe I do look like one of those people who keeps their reading glasses around their neck, I can't quite decide. Um, does this make me look sort of cool and hip? But I think the mere fact that I've just said cool and hip proves that I'm not. Anyway, moving on, um, just like the 65Ts that we've reviewed previously, the way to get these earbuds in is kind of a sort of twist and lock approach. Now, while they're very definitely secured in there, the fit definitely isn't as tight as with the 65Ts. What I immediately noticed is that the noise blocking, and I'm not talking about active noise cancellation or anything like that, but the noise blocking, the physical blocking, isn't as strong as with the earbuds, the 65Ts that we reviewed last time. I can very clearly hear everything that's going on around me. When I'm listening to music though, and the active noise cancellation kicks in, that is a completely different story. No distractions, no background noise at all. Now, the devices themselves have a 14 hour battery pack, and that is thanks to this battery that is stowed inside the neckband. This is clearly an opportunity for a larger battery pack than you're gonna find in most in-ear type devices. Now, a full charge takes around two hours, and if you are really in a pinch, there is an included USB cable which is long enough to charge whilst you talk. Although, I must say, given the location of the charging port right back there, it is a bit awkward if you do need to do that. What I did notice though, was that the alerts for low battery status almost came as a bit of a surprise in the middle of a Teams call one day. And there really wasn't enough battery for me to get through that call. A series of continual alerts came in and then the device just powered off. Now, in fairness to Jabra and, and this device in particular, there are battery meters in the desktop and mobile applications. But I think that because it's got such a long battery life, it actually surprised me when it got low, and then it ran out really quickly after that. Again, the setup is really easy thanks to the Jabra Direct software for Windows and Mac OS devices. You just plug in the included USB dongle, turn on these, and they will find each other and pair automatically. When it comes to pairing with your iOS or Android smartphone, pairing isn't exactly obvious, but again, it's a press and hold on the power button to put the headphones into pairing mode, 
and then after that it's pretty seamless nonetheless. Disappointingly though, I couldn't find these in the Jabra Sound Plus app for mobile, and that meant that I missed out on a load of cool features like the Jabra Equalizer profiles, which is really great on some of the other devices that we've reviewed. On the desktop apps, you will get those regular prompts to update firmware and software as they're available, so that way your earbuds are well maintained. Working with Teams is absolutely fantastic. These devices are comfortable for long calls and the sound quality is superb. Whether that's on the laptop or on my mobile, it's a really good experience. And as is usual with Jabra and their business devices, these devices have been certified for Teams. And that's always a good sign that the vendor's been through all the right steps to make it work together. We did also find that Teams and Zoom both use the noise suppression feature and that worked really well with these earbuds. When I ran conference calls, people on the other side of the call couldn't hear any background noise happening in the office here. Although, because of the physical noise blocking, I could still hear background chatter in the office, but the participants in my calls couldn't hear any of it, which was perfect. One thing I was conscious of was when I'm wearing these, it's how they look on video calls. They're clearly a sport band type device, and so when you wear them, they sort of stick forwards and out along my face, which leave these wire trails that are very noticeable and a bit distracting on video calls. When you have your headphone paired to multiple devices, it can often be a pain when you're trying to do something on one device and then a call comes in on the other, and it just sort of takes over the audio and takes over the priority. Oftentimes, it's unpredictable which device will get priority. Is it going to be my phone? Is it going to be my laptop? Who's going to win? Now, the Jabra Direct software has a couple of great options here to help you control which device takes the control. So, if I'm on a Teams call and then I'm using my headphones and a mobile call comes in, I can actually decide in advance how I want that to work, which is really nice. The audio quality, as is usual with Jabra devices, is fantastic for meeting and calling. The software also lets you adjust the amount of side tone, in other words, the amount of your own voice that you can hear when you're on calls. These things are great for listening to music and podcasts. And again, we've talked about this before, I'm no audiophile, but the sound has some real depth to it and it's really enjoyable to listen to music through them. The Jabra Desktop Direct app does allow you to manually adjust the equalizer settings on the earbuds for some fine tuning, but unfortunately there's no real profiles for you to adjust and there's no support that we could find for these 75Es in the mobile app either which is a shame. On the mobile, you do get some nice presets for things like bass boost or treble boost, and it's dead easy to flip between those profiles, but not with these headphones. Where the 75Es really shine through compared to earbuds like the 65Ts in our previous video is active noise cancelling. The ANC is fantastic and cuts out background noises beautifully. Unlike other ANC devices, I also didn't feel that pressure that you get on your ears, so it is a really nice experience. Using the button on the left hand arm, you can toggle between active noise cancellation on, hear through and ANC off, or ANC off altogether. Now, you can't use active noise cancellation and hear through at the same time, so you do end up toggling between the others. But the really nice thing is that you get some cool audio prompts in your ears that tells you which mode you're currently in. Again, that hear through feature, it really does help you hear more of what's going on around you by using the external microphones and passing that sound into your ear. As you would expect for the microphone quality, the audio is superb. Whether you're using a desktop or mobile device, the built-in noise cancellation is awesome. And it provides some really nice audio for the people on both sides of a call. When it comes to challenges, I really can't think of many. These genuinely are a feature-packed set of earbuds with great audio and fantastic microphones. If I had to nitpick, I'd say it's a shame that we couldn't pair them up with the Jabra Sound Plus app on mobile because those equalizer options in the app are really, really great. I think the neckband probably vibrates a little bit too much. Even when I've silenced an incoming call on the mobile, it continues to vibrate until the call goes away. And also, I'm not sold on the way that the wires are kind of pushed up and against your face. I think this looks odd, and, and for that reason, it wouldn't be my primary choice for a set of earbuds to use with Teams. But again, let's not forget that these are sport band devices. And finally, there is one odd bonging noise that I've noticed when I'm on calls. When one of us is talking, it's almost like we're hitting some kind of peak meter and then the call is being suppressed. But it happens consistently in each call. It's a bit weird, you can learn to ignore it, but it's just something that I think we'd, I'd rather not have. 
Um, and a big shout out actually to Liam Phillips for helping me test this feature in particular. But you know what, that's pretty much it. Those are just little nitpicks. These are fantastic devices. Normally, these things will cost around £157, or call that about 220 US dollars, easily available from any of the links that we've shared below. And that's it. These are fantastic headphones. Again, great for use with Microsoft Teams. Probably not my first choice. I think I'd still stick with something like the 65Ts for that more flush finish. But if you want a multiple device that you can use for sportswear, with your mobile, and with the office for Microsoft Teams, these are a great choice. That's it, guys. We'll see you next time.